Okay. Not unusual, you know. I'm sorry, what's that? Do not have any photos of your wife, family. Yeah, why do you say that? Back in the day, everyone used smartphones. That's where we kept all... Our photos. The phones went away, the cloud went away, our photos went with them. Yeah, I guess I hadn't thought about that. My wife, Carrie. Her father was a photographer. Old school. Dark room, chemicals, all that. Too stubborn to embrace the digital age, I think. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have any photos either. Yeah, well, I hated him. Cell phones, I mean. Seemed like everyone walked around with their noses buried in the damn things. I never owned one. Interesting. How'd you manage that? I worked as a mechanic. I, uh, I had my own shop. Probably had the last landline in farewell. How's it going, soldier? You guys are taking this shit seriously. The Colonel believes with enough motivation and discipline, we can achieve anything. Come on, hurry your ass up. I'm going as fast as I can. Just move it! Is that your idea of motivation? The Colonel has set up a work camp on the south side of the island for those unfit to serve. Some of them require extra encouragement. I'll bet. Come on, follow me. Yes, sir. Stand up there with the others. Good luck, St. John. Got your ass too, huh? Whatever. Hey, man. It's good to see you again. St. John, right? Son of the preacher man? Taylor, what's this son of a preacher man shit you keep saying? I'm just kidding with you, man. Hey, do you have any luck? What? The, the woman you were looking for, you and your peeps are riding with. No. I need all your jewelry, watches, shit like that. Come on, in the bag. What? Sure, man, whatever you say. The hell you say? Recruits aren't allowed personal effects. This side shit's just gonna get stolen. Come on, cough it up. Oh, yeah, shit's gonna get stolen. Goddamn bullshit. Tin hut! At ease. Visitors are not welcome here. You are here because you were invited, recruited by my trusted officers. When you answer me, start by giving me your name, last name first. Getting by, same as everybody. Name. Atkins, Crystal, sir. How many men have you killed? Before or after? Answer the question. Fuck you! We have all done things that we're not proud of. What? To survive, to stay alive. The Almighty understands this. The Almighty forgives yeah. this. Amen. Amen. <laughs> but here, on this woman's face are the footprints of Satan. Prison tattoos. Proof of what you once were and no doubt still are. It's people like her that are responsible for bringing the wrath of the Almighty down upon us all. <laughs> Take her to the work camp. What? Ah. Fuck you. Get her out of here. Get 
Fuck you! Come oh. on, gorgeous. Oh, let's God go. Goddamn redneck asshole! Get off of me! <laughs> I swear God, what about get you? Off me. Uh, Taylor. Uh, wait. And um, no, sir. I uh, never been to jail. Never killed anyone. Nothing like that. You've been in the shit for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I, I know. I know how to shoot stuff. My, my dad took me hunting when I was a kid. At a, at a camp near Klamath Falls, it got. And how about you, son? You know how to use a gun? St. John, Deacon. Yeah, I know how to use a gun. You're a drifter. Hold out your right arm. Tenth Mountain, Iraq, Afghanistan. Honorable service, and don't lie to me. Oh no. Served one tour, served with honor, hated every goddamn minute of it. <laughs> Thou shalt not lie. Good man. Hold up your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the new constitution of these United States against all enemies, natural and unnatural, to bear witness and support to the same, and to obey all orders without question. So, do you swear? I swear. Walk with me, son. Captain Curry doesn't bring me many recruits these days. You must think highly of your combat skills. Oh, I've been in the shit a long time. You know your way around the freaks? Yes, sir. I, uh, I know as much as anyone, sir. Good, good. In here. We'll have the doc take a look at you. Pulse is strong. Good heart rate. Got a pretty nasty burn there. How'd that happen? Uh, had a run in with a wood stove. Wood stove, huh? Who dressed this? I did. No está mal. Not bad at all. Thank you. Keep it dressed or you're gonna lose that arm. You hear me, amigo? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I hear you. I want you to check back with me in a few days. Got it. Well, Doc? How is fit to serve? Lara bien. You doing runs out in the shit? <laughs> Sorry, Doc. Uh, ya tiene novia. Uh, he's spoken for. Let me guess. The Wizard Island Witch. Mm. Vaya con Dios. Good luck, amigo. <laughs> Let's go, son. I normally don't tolerate insubordination, referring to an officer as a witch. But I make exceptions for some of my more eccentric officers. Yes, sir. I make exceptions because every man and woman still living has a role to play. Do you believe in God, St. John? Never gave it much thought, sir. Well, it's high time that you did. He has a plan for us, all of us. And my part is this. Sir? This place, I had a vision. Oh, nothing so grand as those described in the Old Testament. No flaming chariots or burning bushes. I simply woke up one morning before God's plague had rained down upon the world and knew that this was the place. Crater Lake, uh, Wizard Island. I call it the Ark. Are you familiar with the story? Yeah, I mean, yes, sir. I mean, everyone's everyone's heard of it. Indeed. You'd be surprised how few have read the Bible or the Book of Revelations. You mean Genesis, Noah's story. I mean, um, that... It's, it's the Book of Genesis, sir. Yes, of course. Okay, son, let's get you squared away. Whatever you say. Now, we don't have much in the way of uniforms, I'm sorry to say, but uh, I think that... Uh, oh, here. Try this on. <sighs> the 
Seems to fit. I'll take that. Well, if you don't mind, this is a gift from an old friend. An old friend? <laughs> Not many of those left anymore, are there? No, there are enough. Okay, soldier. But I don't want to see you wearing it. You're one of us now. And normally, we start new recruits in the rank of private. But since Captain Curry has vouched for your experience in the field, we are starting you out at the rank of corporal. Thank Congratulations, you. son. Thank you, sir. Yeah, let's get you some work. All right, now what was I saying? Uh, you were telling me about the Ark, sir. Yes, the Ark. What you see here is only a small part of it. Behind us is a whole network of caves and vents that lead from here up to the Cone's Peak. When our work is complete, they will be filled with thousands of seeds, plants, computer files, and books. The world may die. But our achievements in medicine, science, and technology will not die with it. No, sir. But the island is more than just an arc, Corporal. It is a stronghold, a fortress. Here at the North Gate, we are stockpiling enough munitions to take the fight to the freaks. We have rifles, grenades, heavy machine guns, and RPGs. We have the equipment to make ammunition, every type, every caliber. This is our mechanical engineering area. If you need your bike repaired, see the officer on duty. And as you can see here, courtesy of the old National Guard, we are building a fleet of trucks and other vehicles. Once the hordes are cleared from the highways, we will begin to rebuild the roads and bridges. Your slash and burn strategy may stop newts and swarmers, but it won't clear the highway. It won't, it won't stop the hordes, sir. We are aware, Corporal. The hordes. The hordes are a different beast entirely, aren't they? But we have a plan. Plan, sir? Benjamin Franklin once said, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. We are not going to fail. The heart of the army lives here, at the gate, ready to move on my command. These tents house hundreds of women and men, just like yourself, who have pledged and sworn their lives to the fight. But I have something else in mind for you, an assignment that requires more than just the ability to survive in the shit or use a gun. Are you up for it, son? Uh, yes, sir. Wherever you need me. You asked how we were going to defeat the Horde? Let me show you. You okay, Lieutenant? Oh, hey, Colonel. Sorry about that. Too much acetone in that batch. Lieutenant Weaver is our chemical engineer. He's working on new ways to, to blow shit up. Feet the enemy. Sorry, but yeah. Uh, name's Weaver. James. St. John, Deacon. All this militia shit's just for show, right, Colonel? Corporal St. John is new to Corey's unit. If you need anything from out in the shit. He's your man. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah. There's a couple of things I need. What are you working on? Oh, just the new gelling agent combining naphthenic and palmitic acid. Mm, you working on napalm? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this dude knows his shit. Uh, just a lucky guess. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt. Oh, any time. Oh, Colonel. I'm getting real close, Colonel. Very close. That's good. That's really good. Where you going next, Colonel? Wizard Island Witch? That'll be all, Lieutenant. <clears throat> Again, let me apologize for my more eccentric officers. No need, sir. We have one final stop. As much as I believe in Lieutenant Weaver's work, 
What you're about to see could be, I think. All right, what is this? Ma'am, I got everything on the requisition form. Does this look like fabric softener? No, ma'am. Okay, why don't you read it? Active ingredients. Chlor chlor chloroform and uh a turp turpin tur Get out. Shit. Get out. Matt, I can't do this if I have to do my own supply runs. I got it covered. Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John. He's a new member of Corey's unit. He's got some experience out on the ship. Read this. What? Read this. I mean, you can read, can't you? Active ingredients, chloroform, aterpenol, benzo alcohol, ethylathic acid. Good enough. When can he start? Ah, oh, I'll leave you to it. Carry on, Lieutenant. Leave us. Stand at attention. Dead. Hey, hey, hey. You're dead. It's okay. You're dead. I'm right here. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. I, I don't understand. I couldn't I, I find you. You had died, and I. Uh, no, we were overrun, and right? we had to go south. We, Nero. They yeah, said Nero, that no one no, made I it out. Ryan and Farewell I was away. overrun. They said that everybody the was mountain. dead. And I didn't think that. I never thought I would see you again. See you. Listen, now we can ride out of here. We'll pick a direction. We won't look back. Come Please, on. No, no, Deacon. I can't. Are they, are they forcing you to stay here? No, you don't understand. We're fighting a war. Don't you see? This is a war that we can win. I didn't come here to fight a war. I can be helpful. I can make a difference, but I... I can't go with you. I have to stay here. Don't you get it? You, you can stay here with me. Help me. <sighs> Look, afterwards, whatever you say, we, we, we can go wherever you want. <clears throat> Colonel's looking for you. Whatever you say, ma'am. Wait, wait a second. Your requisition form. Thank you, soldier. Corporal St. John and Lieutenant Weaver, come back.
St. John to HQ. This is Weaver. What can I do for you, Corporal? Uh, your requisition form says you need mercury. Any idea where I can get it? Yeah, sure. I should have written okay. that shit down Very for you. Okay, very good. It comes from, uh, Cinnabar. Corey's unit scouted out of mine north of Diamond Lake. Head there, radio me when you arrive. Yes, sir. Hey, between you and me, if the colonel isn't around, stop with all the yes sir, no sir bullshit, all right? Makes me feel old. Oh, big spender. Huh? Ah, okay. Corporal, see you around. Corporal St. John, is it? Yes, sir. Come in. Just enjoying a cup of tea, herbal, courtesy of uh, Lieutenant Whitaker. Would you like to try some? It's very good for the digestion. Uh, no, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm, I was just looking for the duty roster. I have an assignment for you. Men, Corporal. Not that they deserve to be called that. They've taken one of ours. Lieutenant Justine Norwood. Fine officer. And they have her, so, uh, yes, I will get her back, sir. With the help of men like you, we're going to take back this world. Dismissed. Captain Corey, um, at the Diamond Lake outpost, I assume? Copy that. Go! Open up! He's with us. Open up. <laughs> St. John! Corporal St. John! <laughs> you got your ears on, man? Hey, is this, is this thing gonna work? I don't think it's real. Taylor. Yeah, your radio works. What's up? Deacon St. John! Hey! Uh... Corporal. Good. I have a job that requires your... unique skills. 
Oh, sure, yeah. Uh... Hang on, I'll open the gate. St. John, Court Burrell, St. John. <laughs> you got your ears on, man? Hey, is this, is this thing gonna work? I don't think it's right. Yeah, your radio works. What's up? Deacon St. John, hey. Uh, I mean, you know, nothing. Just, just, <laughs> just checking in on you. I haven't seen you since the whole swearing in thing. That was some shit. Right? <laughs> hey, look, you know, I'm kind of busy. Oh, hey, hey, what the, what the hell you, you got? They got you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm in the damn infantry or some shit. Spend all day burning out nests, chopping down trees, hauling wood. So, sorry, sorry. What are, you, what are you doing? Research. They got me going out into the shit, finding supplies for the officers working on. Oh shit! Oh, I heard about that. Radio, are you on? Are you sure that you're not being monitored? Oh, shit! Huh, that's what I thought. Gotta go. St. John out. Gotcha, you son of a bitch. No more ambushing drifters for you, huh? <clears throat> Corporal Deacon St. John. <laughs> hey, you got your ears on, man? Hey. Taylor, what do you need? There you are. Okay. Uh, so I finally figured out how to use this damn thing. Alright, I got a secure channel and everything. So how's it going, man? Taylor, I'm kind of busy right now, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> uh, hey, so, words out of the camp. The drugs are making their way in. Captain Corey, you have the site where Sergeant Anderson was last seen. Alright, Anderson. Let's go take care of business. No. He's gotta be here somewhere. Where the hell is he? Gotta take a closer look. Which way? Oh shit, the wolves.
Okay, let's take a look around. All right, where? What is that? Anderson? Another dragon? Well, how the hell am I gonna get my bounty? Corporal Deacon St. John. <laughs> hey, you got your ears on, man? Hey. Taylor, what do you need? There you are. Okay. Uh, so I finally figured out how to use this damn thing. All right. I got a secure channel and everything. <laughs> okay. What were you saying? There you are. Okay. Uh, so I finally figured out how to use this damn thing. All right, I got a secure channel and everything. So how's it going, man? Taylor, I'm kind of busy right now, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, man, sorry. <laughs> uh, hey, so, words out in the camp that drugs are making their way in, right under the colonel's nose. <laughs> it's good it's stuff, too. But One, do four, four, six, three. I don't do drugs, Taylor, so no, I don't know anything about it. Why? No, 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 I don't... I don't know either. I'm just, I saw this guy, you know, one of the new recruits, acting all suspicious. He writes in and out of camp all the time. So I thought, I thought I'd follow him, right? I didn't need to ask what the hell he's about, you guys. Taylor, listen to me. Just go to Corey, let him handle it. You got that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, it jumps. Good call. Yeah. Okay, Mr. I mean, we seen it in the I'll talk to you later. Out. I didn't think it was possible. You know what viral zoonotic neural invasive disease is, Corporal? No, I'm gonna don't have a clue. Think rabies. Yeah. yeah. Just like the flu virus. Let's see if it's still works. Rabies spreads through contact with fluids. Uh, saliva, blood, semen. Oh, that's just gross. And while it primarily infects mammals, lab cultures have shown that it can also infect birds, reptiles, even insects. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you are out there this guy working with Nero. Can top out at 60. Yeah. The very you same can tire off we saw died of the were survivors not too long ago. What it means for us, the same Nero that abandoned us here this shit two years past. No, I don't think so. Than us. Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, better them than us. through here. This is Radio 
no free order. The truth shall set you free. Fit, wine and babies. <laughs> Suckling at the teat of us taxpayers. Dumb as they were, we can't underestimate them. You got your know the chief mugging books are hiding out there in some bunker, waiting for the freaks to die off. Yeah, Coke, not today. Not in the mood for your truth or bullshit. Captain, I found your man, Anderson, and you were right, he still... Corporal. So, uh, where are you from, Lucas? Was it? Uh, I, I can't place your accent. <laughs> that obvious. Y yeah, fr fr from Canada, originally. Yeah, I was down here on holiday with the family. Yeah, doing a bit of camping out, you know, w west of Crater Lake. A wife and kids. Uh, my boys would have been eight and nine this year. Canada, huh? You're a long way from home. Ah, oh, tell me about it. 
Yeah, I, I was a teacher, uh, engine repair in Calgary, at the Technical Institute. Oh, you ever been? No, no, I guess not. Uh, anyways, the colonel, he, uh, he g gave me this job, so now this is home, yeah? Yeah. How you doing there? A uh, good piece of equipment right there. Yep. Good, good, good choice, gotta say. Oh, yes, sir. That that that's a good one. Well, th th there you go. Oh, Cor Corporal St. John, you, you stay safe, yeah? Ah, uh, C C Corporal St. John. Sergeant. Hey, Serge. C Corporal, uh, what can I get for you? Serge. I got the gate. Corporal St. John, <laughs> uh, Wade Taylor to Deacon St. John. <laughs> <sighs> Taylor, uh, I hear a bike. Tell me you're not out in the shit tracking down that drug trafficker. Okay, okay. <laughs> I won't tell you that. 